This is the magazine skin demo. I'm going to install the skin on a brand new website and I'm going to use Jumpstart Pro to get a quick uh, head start on that process. So I've got a brand new website here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, enter my information here to get into the admin. All right, so I got the welcome screen from the WordPress 3.8 installation. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and update the 3.81 so I can get rid of this nag screen here. And you can see that's really quick and easy if you've ever done that before. So once that's complete, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here and just go to the dashboard home to show you that this is a brand new website with the 20... 14 default skin <coughs> loaded on it so no post no pages other than the default stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and jump start this site and you can see I've got jump start pro uh, up to version 6.8 so it's parallel with the uh, current release of the software and I'll just click install now and if you're familiar with Jumpstart Pro you know that that's going out and it's building not everything that you need it's installing the uh, the theme it's setting all the suggested theme options for you so this is really um, how I start every website project is I create a new uh, local host installation of WordPress and I use Jumpstart Pro to um, to build the boilerplate stuff really you just saw that in a few seconds no brainer it's no code involved or anything so I can go back out to the website and click refresh and we can see that I've got a default um, canvas skin with uh, some blog posts and everything set up like uh, we want it. social media slider privacy policy earnings disclaimer all of the even my Google authorship is pulling my Gravatar photo, so everything is good to go right out of the box with that. So, but the purpose of this uh, video is to show how to set up magazine. So you can see we've got amazing canvas, the pre-installed skins there. So to set up magazine, I'm going to go ahead and click Add Upgrade Skins, choose File, and I'm going to locate my templates directory where I have my premium templates located. And I'm going, and this would be the location you saved magazine to. So where, whatever that is on your, on your local installation. I'm going to go ahead and just click magazine.zip and apply those changes, and that's copying the magazine zip file, which is essentially a child theme. It's it's my version of child theme, so it's easier to work with for uh, non-techie users, but. I uh, went ahead and select magazine there and you can see the default colors all pre-populate based on the template.ini that comes with the magazine skin and uh, you get two flavors of this skin magazine and magazine alt really the only difference is a subtle one uh, is that your header area on the magazine skin is a darker gray whereas on the magazine alt if I switch over to that you'll see the color swatches change you can see that first color swatch turns to white and that is the color one which is here you can see on the preview that's the header area so it turns that and also changes the the uh, links here to a, a different color which you'll see once you activate that so um, in any event I'm gonna get, just go ahead and click apply changes on that selected magazine as my skin and uh, I'm going to go back out here and refresh this and now you can see I've got the magazine skin showing up so the first thing um, I'm going to do is since this skin is really highlighting the uh, home blog here I'm going to go ahead and trim down my home page content to a bare minimum and I'm also going to remove this slider this this particular skin is is you can put a slider at the top but it's really the whole focus is to showcase these items just like we have on the I'll go ahead and go out to the default um, demo online and you can see that um, what we have computers run a little slow because I'm recording this so it's having a bit of a time there you go so that you can see that 
really what we're showcasing on this is are these these tiles which represent the post your latest post that you've uh, submitted and each one of these has a thumbnail uh, image which is represented by your your featured image that you upload that is loaded up here in the top so that's what we're, we're aiming for so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this slider and we're going to trim down this home page content so to do that I'll go ahead and go to appearance first and go to the widgets and just um, you can either just drag that slider out of the area that it's in which is below content or you can just click hide which will leave it in place but you're just hiding it so if you ever decide to come back and do something with it you can drag it into the above content or drag it over or do whatever you want with it so we'll go ahead and refresh that and we should see the okay so now you don't have the slider so the next thing we're going to do is go to the post and we're going to click on the sticky post which Jumpstart Pro created for us and we're going to go ahead and edit that down so I'm just going to remove all that content and just leave the one line to represent sort of an introduction to the website alright so that's much better um, for now I'm going to disable these social media icons so we can concentrate on this area here to do that I'm going to click bump social and just uncheck those which were checked on the default installation but you can see once you're ready to go live you got access to all of these social media open graph uh, comments author byline uh, etc all that's uh, set up easily here just by clicking the button entering your in that case your Twitter username that's all very point and click setup okay so I click apply changes there and I should see that now those have gone away so what we want to do is uh, you noticed on the demo we've got these nice featured images above our post we've also got post ratings which are really simple to do um, but the first thing I need to do here to get that look is to go ahead and upload featured image for for these um, for these posts so to do that I'm gonna go ahead and go to the um, just click a post we'll do awards and honors first which is obviously you'll change to reflect your content but I'm just gonna collapse these menus these um, areas here to get to the featured image and set featured image currently jumpstart pro only put a few slider images into my library so the files I'm gonna need I'm gonna grab from my black my magazine template folder which are these three okay once those are up I'm just gonna select the default one and click set featured image there alright so now when I go back to the website and refresh you can see that that image shows up really nicely there like we want it to and uh, I can go ahead and assign the other two images as featured images to the other post and you'll notice when I go back here you can see that this this uh, interface here reflects that you do have a featured image assigned to it so it's a nice um, little reminder if you need to scan over your library of posts to make sure they have featured images and uh, featured images are really important for the click bump theme uh, it really takes advantage of them and displays them in lots of various ways so it's really important that you get used to uh, assigning a featured image even if you don't want to use it uh, you've got the ability under this little categories thing to say don't show the featured image on the post page itself uh, but they still will show up on the um, on the post summaries and whatnot so that's a convenient thing to know if you uh, want to click through and you don't want to see the featured image on your full page post so we're going right along here and we'll go ahead and just populate this last one on this 
sample page so that we have our look that we want. All right, so now I can refresh, and <clears throat> we're starting to get the look we want on the uh, home page. And you can see when I pull this down to mobile display, everything reformats really nicely, so that we've got a nice uh, linear display for mobile. Uh, sorry about that. When a uh, when I refresh, resize the screen, the video goes kind of wacky. So um, that's the last time I'll do that. But I want to show you how that works. So now we want to. Um, want to do a few additional tweaks and uh, you see when I go to the uh, live demo site and I scroll down I get this nice promo box I want to show you how to integrate that it's new in version 6.8 that you can do a you can do a promo box I'm gonna go here to widgets I've got that enabled as a new custom widget that you can drag into the above header so I'll grab the promo box and you can put some content in it. Okay. And uh, just click Save. And by not selecting anything here, the default is hide on with no checks selected, which means basically show on the entire site. So hide on nothing, essentially. And I'll go ahead and click through to one of these posts so that I have some scroll. And you can see that when I scroll down below a certain point, really, the default is below the content area. I can see this nice um, header alert pop in at the top and goes away when I scroll back up to the top. So um, you can put a, a special alert for your users or you know just repeat your your top menu if you want to put your social media icons your logo for example um, if I put uh, actually a span up here class equal logo I believe I have this set up hoping I do cross my fingers uh, span equal logo there and I'm also gonna grab my social media content I'll just copy that and I'm going to paste that into here as well it should put my uh, site logo on the left that message and then my um, social media icons on the right of the promo box so let's see if that works as expected here okay well I got my social media icons here it didn't load my logo I think I have to uh, put a bit of custom CSS on the page in order to display that and I'll show you that in the next video but for now that's uh, a quick setup of the magazine skin you can see you also get these related nice related post uh, boxes here with thumbnails and read more descriptions based on this post sharing uh, category with uh, these additional posts recent posts show up here so it's a really nice skin for your um, magazine style websites where you're promoting reviewing products or uh, music or you know whatever that you want to review I'm actually using this same um, I'm using the same skin on the learn.clickbump.com site which is a video tutorial site so all of my posts are videos and I've got this cool uh, neat little plugin called uh, thumbnail um, video thumbnails which is a free download that actually grabs the thumbnail image from the video on YouTube and inserts it as your featured image so that's really convenient to do so hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, if you haven't picked up this skin it's the newest one from uh, available so I hope you like it